So in this episode, I find out that if you only slept three hours the night before, you shouldn't drive two hours to go to a gaming convention, because you're gonna suck at, uh, because you're gonna suck at negotiating and finding any deals, really. <laughs> Let's see the footage. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ed Search or Geek Out. In this episode, I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got at Skidam Retro Gaming uh, Convention. Uh, it's it's a convention in Holland. They do it, I think, three or four times a year. Uh, I try to go to two of, of, of the conventions every year and see what I can find. So. Uh, yeah, the night before, I had only slept like three hours, I had a gig, uh, and I got in at like 4.30, so when I got up at at 7.30 or whatever, um, yeah, I didn't really sleep too much, so <laughs> let's see what I found. What me and my buddy usually do is we walk around the first time and check out the vendor floor, check out where there's like deals to be had, and uh, I don't know why, but I'm just not finding anything this first run. Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I even left behind like Transformers, like G1 Transformers for two euros a piece. Who does that? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Uh, so yeah, after missing out on the Transformers, um, we go around a second time and, you know, dig deeper, take, check out every stand, and, and so I actually find a couple games I really need. Uh, I find Asteroids, uh, just a Game Boy game, uh, really simple, I don't think they, uh, really changed anything to it since 1979 but uh yeah i didn't have this game and i needed for a full set so picked it up another game for the game boy i'm really happy that i found is uh hammering harry this is quite an expensive game um but yeah i was able to get it for 35 which is a very good price i think um yeah this actually is a good game, so, I mean, I, I would have paid that anyways for it. And, uh, this puts, I don't know, I don't actually know anymore. I, I think it's like, uh, 520 or 522 games I have now for the classic Game Boy. So the great cards. So, that's good. Then, uh, we, we go a bit further, there's lots of stands there, but there's a lot of overpriced vendors. I mean, I already have a lot of stuff, but usually the stuff I'm looking for is overpriced. So we come across a vendor who actually wants to sell. They're uh, giving 20% off on every item. I find an NES game I don't have. The Lone Ranger, this actually looks really good. I mean, the graphics look awesome for an NES game. Um, there's sort of RPG elements going on here too, because you can buy an upgrade. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm really looking forward to playing this. The other game I got for uh, is for the Sega Mega Drive, and it's X-Men. So, um, this game, I, uh, I, I've been wanting to get for a long time, but I could never find it. And, uh, I do. I actually buy this game for 40 euros at the stand, because I, I somehow think it's worth a lot more, but I, I think I'm confusing it with X-Men 2 on the Mega Drive. Um, and then it happens. <laughs> Like, 
like we move through to some other vendors and my buddy's digging around and he finds the same game for 20 euros. So I, I could have gotten it for like half the price I already paid for it. It really sucks, but like I said, I, I had only slept for three hours. I wasn't really thinking straight. I was just like, let's get some games and get out of here because I was so tired. Sleep. I'm just too tired to find any deals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was fun. Let's get something to eat. So uh, after that. I'm, I'm starting to get hungry, and uh, we go to McDonald's where they actually have uh, some Mario items in the, the the Happy Meals this time here. Um, so. <laughs> so I pick up a Happy Meal for the first time in like 15 years probably, and uh, yeah, see, try to see what uh, the, the a hidden gift is in there and it's uh, a Yoshi that you can press his back and then his tongue kind of squirts forward yeah it looks cool uh, I'll probably just give it to my daughter because I, I don't really care for this stuff but you know I was there we we're taping why not film a guy opening his first Happy Meal in the, in the past 15 years. Oh, and I actually forgot. I, I also bought um, some, some art to put on the walls. Um, yeah. So I picked up these two uh, NES uh, covers. So they're, they're made of uh, plexiglass or something like that. So it's uh, Turtles and Turtles 2, the arcade game. Uh, yeah, these are gonna go up on the wall. I, I can never say no to a... <laughs> A really cool turtles item and I really like how this looks so yeah it's pretty neat so yeah overall I'm happy with all the items I got <laughs> not happy about the price but hey uh, next time I'll uh, I'll sleep some more before we go um, yeah so thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, if you do like what I do leave a like maybe a comment hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Gotta buy something. <laughs>